Hello everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial channel. This is Randy from Ranch Graphics and today I will show you how to create a cinematic trailer title animation inside After Effects. After this tutorial, I hope that you guys will be able to create a better graphic motions and title animations inside After Effects, okay? So without any further ado, let's go and jump in inside After Effects. As usual, we will begin by creating a new composition and I will name it text1. Nineteen twenty by 812 pixels, 30 frames per second and the duration is 5 seconds. And I will click OK. I will grab the text tool. I will type in cinematic. I'm using RBNO to light. I will change this font size to 100. I will align this horizontally and vertically. Next, I will expand this layer. I will animate it. Click tracking. Make sure that your playhead is at the beginning of the timeline. Change the tracking amount to 90. And click this stopwatch to create a keyframe. Move your playhead to about 4 seconds and change the amount to about 40. Then highlight this layer, go to layer, layer styles and gradient overlay. Expand this gradient overlay, edit gradient, double click this and change this to white. And create another one in here and change this to gray. Click OK, close it, highlight this one and duplicate it, click P for the position, move it down like that and change the text from cinematic to trailer. And I will change the font size here to about 48. And enable the title action save. So we will know the center of our compositions. Highlight the cinematic. Also press P and move it a little bit up. And also highlight this trailer and move it up. All we have to do is to close this one. Let's play. nice now go and highlight the text layer and duplicate it and double click this text to double click the trailer i will type in animation i will highlight the animation and duplicate it i will double click this one and i will press p for the position and move it up and double click your mouse to change the text from animation to A. And also highlight the cinematic. Double click your mouse to change the text from cinematic to motion graphics. I think I have to change the tracking amount here. Click Q on my keyboard. And here we have seen the tracking amount. Probably make it 70. Close all this. 
and highlight all click Q to reveal the keyframes highlight it all press 9 to easy it go back to text 1 highlight it all press U and highlight all the keyframes press F9 to easy it close this and now we are ready to create a new composition go to composition new and I will name it main 1920 by 812 pixels 30 frames per second and I will change the duration to 10 seconds and I will click OK I will highlight these two compositions drag it down to my timeline right click my mouse keyframe assistant sequence layers and I will click OK I'll go back to my project panel and open the assets folder expand the footage highlight all the footages and drag it down to my timeline and I will toggle the switches in here and change the blending mode to add highlight the particle press T on my keyboard and change the opacity from 100% to 50% and I will move this particle above the lens effect and I will also move this lens effect below the smoke I will again toggle the switches in here I will close this one I will highlight the potages again and make it a 3D layers I will change the view to 2 views horizontal and I will highlight it again press S on my keyboard and shift P for the position so I will move this footages backwards so I will first move this lens farther away from the text and also the smoke I will move it backwards and also the particles I will change the two views horizontal to one view and then change the scale here I will change first the lens effect and then also the smoke I will change the scale and make it bigger until such time that it covers all our compositions and also the particles and then I will close it go to layer and I will create a new adjustment layer and then go to effects and preset color correction and curves change the curves like this As you can see that the gradient seems to be gone all you have to do is to highlight these text layers and move it up above the adjustment layer now you can see that there's a gradient there move this playhead here because I think this one must be the beginning I will just interchange this one let's see Now I will go back to text one and we will apply a certain effect in here. I highlight this trailer, go to effects and preset, go to transition and black dissolve. I will move my playhead at the beginning and I will make sure that the transition completion is 100% and click the stopwatch here to create a keyframe and move my playhead to about 20 frames. 
change the transition completion to zero and move my player forward to about four seconds and ten frames click q on my keyboard and make a keyframe and move forward my player to the end of my timeline and change this to a hundred I will move my playhead at the beginning. I will highlight the trailer and copy the block result. Edit, copy, and highlight the cinematic and go to edit, paste. So now when we play this one, let's see. This is what we can have to do to, to the text too. Make sure that your playhead is at the beginning. Make sure that the animation is highlighted and go to edit, paste. Also highlight this motion graphics and paste. So now if we will open the main, go or play it at the beginning and play this one. Let's see. Yep. It's beautiful. So now we already have ended our tutorial for today. So I hope guys that you will support my channel by subscribing for those people who are new in here. And for those who are already subscribing my channel. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it so much. And don't forget to like and comment if you have some comments. If you want to share it with your friends, it's okay to me too. And my thoughts for today is that don't waste your time and use your life in a full extent. Thank you very much for watching and I hope guys that this tutorial is useful to you. God bless.